it's time for another bell ringer. I have this incredible artwork submission by Robert, and I just wanted to show you exactly how to do it right. So this is the original image that Robert used, and noticed uh, he named it original image and locked it very good. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that. Remember how I said you need to have a background layer? There it is, a black background layer. And now watch as we start to reveal how Robert pieced this drawing together. Absolutely gorgeous. Just step by step, layer by layer. Did this take a long time? You betcha. Did Robert earn extra credit? Of course. Excellent job. Now, I know we've talked about this before, but I can never show you enough times how to save and export. So file, save as, make sure that you do your first and last name and then whatever the project is, and it's going to save it as an Inkscape file. That's an editable Inkscape file that I can go into and see all of the layers just like on here, okay? And I want to show you how to export. File, export, ping image, a dialog box appears. If this dialog box doesn't appear, maybe it's hidden over on the side and you need to just click on it to make it appear. This right here is export as. This is not exporting. This is just where you want to save it, okay? It's going to save it to the exact same place. It's going to give it the exact same name, except for instead of having a .svg at the end, it has a .png for ping. I like to make sure that I click close when completed so that I know that I've actually exported it because sometimes you can get in a hurry and you can forget to actually click export, which is what you have to do to actually export the file. Notice once it's exported, that dialog box disappeared. Let's take a look in my folders and try to find it. So I'm in my folder and there is Robert's ping that I exported. I know this is a ping because I can actually see what the image looks like. That's what a ping does. This is the Inkscape file. Here is a hypothetical situation that students often get themselves into, and it's really important. Sometimes you're going to save your work and come back to add to it later. This is a mistake that students will often make. They'll open up their Inkscape, just like I taught you. And they'll go File, Open, and guess what they open? Oops, they accidentally open the ping, not the Inkscape. Is it gonna open? Oh yeah, that, that ping is gonna open all right. It's gonna open, but what's gonna happen? There's no layers. Why? Because this isn't an editable Inkscape file. But guess what students will do? They'll disregard the fact that they accidentally just opened a ping. And they'll start adding to it. La la la, add a star, grab my pencil, add some more. And then guess what happens? I'm gonna go File, Save As. What am I gonna save it as? An Inkscape file, Robert C. Project 2, right? And it's gonna say, a file named Robert C. Project 2 already exists. Would you like to replace it? No. Do you know why? Because, if I replace it, guess what? 
that Inkscape file that had all your layers in it is going to be nothing but a ping I opened with a star on it. Is that what you want? No. Then I won't be able to see your work. Cancel, cancel. At that point, that should be an alarm to you that, oops, I messed up. I'm not, I don't have any layers. So I'm going to name this my accident. My accidental opening of a ping file instead of an Inkscape file. All right. That's what that is. Let me show you the difference. Now if I go in and file open, instead of opening, look at that ping. <laughs> instead of opening <clears throat> the Robert accidentally opening a ping file, let's try if we had opened the correct file to begin with. If to begin with we'd opened the Inkscape file instead, there's all my layers. If I had saved over that, if I had replaced it, I would have had this and all my work would be gone. Can I still go in there and grab things and move things around? Am I able to edit anything at this point? No, it's just an image. I can't do anything with it. So please, don't make that mistake. It's happened so many times. I don't want that to happen to you.